The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has for the first time responded to accusation that it failed to follow the Electoral Act of 2022 and also failed to abide by its own guidelines on the mode of collation of results in the last presidential elections. The development comes in response to a petition by the Action People's Party, the APP, before the presidential election petition court in the FCT. The APP is challenging the result of the presidential poll and the declaration of all Progressive Congress APC standard bearer, Bola Tunubu, on the grounds of alleged substantial non-compliance with the electoral laws of Nigeria, as well as the breach of the INEC guidelines. But in reply to the suit instituted by one of the parties, the APP INEC, through one of his lawyers, Abubakar Mohammed, insisted that it conducted free and fair polls on February 25th. The APP had alleged that INEC breached its own laws and guidelines. However, INEC dismissed the party's argument that the resort coalition were to be done electronically, citing paragraph 50 to 55 of the regulation guidelines for the conduct of the 2023 presidential election. It also dismissed the allegation that its officials doctored result to favor a particular political party's candidate, or there was over voting. The date for hearing of the five petition for the so been received from the People's Democratic Party, the Labour Party, the APP Action Alliance, and the Allied People's Movement is yet to be fixed by the PEPC. Earlier, there was conversation with legal practitioner on the issue, and this is what he had to say. its own regulation, which is the regulation that was used for this election. And then the regulation in section 38 introduced electronic collation or transmission of results into the system. And after that introduction, because that is that is the discretion that section 160 gave to of the constitution gave to Ireland to create its own regulation, that the discretion and to use that to create its own way of managing or carrying out election, electoral uh, activities. That discussion was done by the enactment of this regulation. And this regulation introduced electronic transmission. So there's no more discretion for INEC. Once it says in section 38 of the electoral I mean, uh, regulation that election results will be transmitted from the polling unit by the electoral officers, then it means that there's no more, no longer discretion for any to say that they are going to use both manual uh, 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 transmission and electronic transmission, the manual collection and electronic uh, uh, transmission. That is that would have been possible if that regulation was not enacted. And then INEC went out of its way to inform Nigerians that it is going to transmit the results live, real time, from polling units. It gave Nigerians that confidence. And that was why many Nigerians drew out to the street to carry out their civic responsibility. So I do not believe, I do not want to uh, 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 align with the position that INEC has a discretion to now decide on the day of the election to transmit some results and then collect some results manually. So my thinking is that this is an afterthought. This is wrong from inception. INEC has no discretion to transmit results electronically, I and mean, it, it, it has no discretion to uh, uh, collect results outside the transmission by electronic means that it itself introduced into the regulation. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.